Okay, so this is our compost pile that we've made. We've taken our wood chips, which are about a year old, been sitting over in a pile, and we've mixed in dirt booster, horse manure, and excess vegetables into this pile. And it's had over a month, probably six weeks, to actually start to activate and decompose. Now here's why you don't put wood chips directly into your soil. The carbon to nitrogen ratio is extremely weird. So you have very high carbon and very low nitrogen in wood chips. So to decompose, they actually will steal nutrients and moisture from your soil to actually go through the decomposition process. That's why if you're gonna use wood chips in the soil, you actually have to put it into a compost pile. So you can take wood chips, you can buy, you can buy a black cow, compost manure at Home Depot, throw a little dirt booster, mix that all up and let that sit. Then what you'll have is you'll have something, at, once that becomes active, let it sit for four to six weeks. Then you'll have something that you can actually put into your soil that will loosen up any hard clay soil. And that's our goal here. We get down to 12 inches and it's basically like a rock here. I mean, absolute rock because of our high potassium we have. This potassium is just absolutely just creating havoc out here on these fields. So let me open this up and let's see how active this looks. So it's not bad. I mean, it is nice and warm. in there. So I'm going around here, I'm in the 90s, basically inside this pile. So this isn't a real, real hyperactive pile. It's not like when we make our super compost piles that get up to like 120 to 140 degrees. This is just a slow decomposition process here. Okay, so that was this morning and I took you over to that compost pile, wood chip compost pile. I'm about to run you up and I'm gonna show you some bad wood chips that you don't wanna use inside your soil not on top of, but inside your soil. But we're getting ready to, we actually got a little warm front here, so I'm doing some, I'm getting wet. I'm doing some overseeding out here. Maybe I'll put some of that on this video for you guys, but we have finally have a rain event. This has been, the past three months have been the worst drought conditions that we've experienced in years here. I mean, almost no rain past three months, very, very little. And the only way I'm keeping everything alive around here is through irrigation, pond irrigation, shallow well irrigation. But this is that perennial rye backyard. Now this has been through two nights of 29 degrees. So far it's holding up, but I am gonna do an overseed out on that front. I'll talk about that in a minute, but let's shoot up and I'm gonna show you bad wood chips, good wood chips and processing wood chips and why the difference between them all. Here we go. Thank God, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 50% chance of rain. My farm report says I'm gonna get 1.6 to two inches of rain, thank goodness. But these massive wood chip piles, this is a huge pile over here. When we first bought this property, I told the guys, my tree guys, that they could dump the wood chips up here. Got a little out of control. These are just like 10 truckloads of wood chips up here. So these are what you don't want to put directly into your soil. Now I'm not talking about top dressing. I'm talking about putting wood chips on top of your soil is not an issue. It's not going to suck up all your nutrients out of your ground. But if you start to mix this inside your soil, it'll temporarily deplete. It'll pull nutrients and moisture and everything else from your soil so it can decompose. These things will sit here. These things will sit here for years and not decompose. Now I've kind of mixed these up a little bit. You can see how much I have. I've kind of mixed these up. And so some of this blacker, darker stuff is actually from the bottom. So this dark stuff right here, which looks good, is actually from the bottom before. And I pushed this with my skid steer. So this stuff that is dark and is starting to actually rot a little bit. See it? That stuff was actually sitting on top of the soil and sucking up nitrogen to decompose. Bad wood chips. Good wood chips, I already showed you. That pile over there has been loaded up with organic matter, nutrients. That pile got up to 120 degrees at one point a couple weeks ago. This is a new pile. We're stripping our vegetable garden. We're taking all of our rotten produce, all of anything that's organic matter, and we're putting wood chips, dirt booster, 
oh, excuse me, wood chips. It's a layer of that organic stuff, garden stuff, dirt booster, wood chips. And we just repeat that, repeat that. And that's what we're creating here. This will sit here all winter long. Um, we'll come by and we'll stir this every once in a while. Wait, I'm wait, waiting for some rain to come by because it needs moisture too. But this is the first process we do. So we take these bad wood chips, we start to work them into good wood chips, and eventually that pile over there can actually go into my soil because it's kind of pre-loading. In other words, it's pre-stealing. We're loading that up with all the nutrients it wants and now it can go directly into my soil because once it sort of loads up, it's really good for your soil if you have a hard clay soil. So let me go over to the garden. Let me show you the strip down and what we're doing for winterizing. Uh, if you didn't watch my previous video, I talked about why I didn't come up here and actually harvest some of this stuff. We had a, a cold front move through with low of 29 for a couple of nights and I had to make a decision. My brother was coming up to hunt with me for a couple of days, for a week almost, and it was either come up and work the garden or hunt with him, I decided to hunt. So, But we had probably, we had hundreds and hundreds of tomatoes in here that were lost, green peppers, at least 100 150 green peppers but we've taken this down and we're starting to pull this whole garden now our soil is so brutally hard right now that we can't get these stakes out <laughs> i mean we can get a few of them out but let me tell you what i told the guys i said wait till it rains i said and then we'll then we'll be able to pull them out but here's what we're going to do we do a practice called strip tilling we don't we never have bare ground on our on our whole 40 acres. I never have raw dirt. There's always something in the ground. There's always roots in the ground. However, strip tilling is a practice where, where you're going to, if you're going to plant in a row, you actually put extremely beneficial material in that one row and till that one row and everything else doesn't get touched. It's called strip tilling. Look at it. There's some great videos online about it. Instead of, everyone's heard of no-till, we do strip tilling. So this one row here, what we'll do, we've pulled everything out of here. I will come back and I'll take the good wood chips. I'll put good wood chips down on here. The wood, good wood chips will go down here. I'll put dirt booster here. Then we're gonna till that into the soil. We'll till that deep into the soil and then we'll put wheat straw on top of that and then we'll leave it for the whole winter. And what we'll be able to do is, we haven't used fertilizers in over four years, it's almost five years, and we have massive crop, massive crops. And we don't have to do anything next year if we don't want, we can just come in and just plant right into that. If I wanna to top dress with some of our Dirt Booster Super Compost that we make, then we'll top dress with it, but we can just plant right into there and not do anything next year. That's how we winterize our garden. So the one thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you to go out to your garden and just rip everything out and then go inside for the, for the winter. What I want you to do is I want you to do a little bit of prep work. This is a great time of year to get out here to winterize your garden, put something healthy inside the soil and prepare it for next year. I'm telling you, you, can, you don't have to do anything next year if you don't want. You can just plant right in those rows. Let me see if I got a clip. There's a really cool clip. This is all my turnip radish, kale, carrots. Um, I gave, I pulled out a couple for Jeff the other day. I said, dude, take these home. This is amazing here. Now this will survive through the winter probably, but we're, I'm not going to put the winterizing when we actually do this. I'll put that on video probably next week. For three days of rain, I am the happiest person in the world because I am so tired of watering. So anyways, guys, I got a bunch of stuff. Fish, the fish are coming tomorrow. I'm going to do a fish stocking video. Uh, we've got this. I've got an overseed, a bunch of stuff. Hit subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. Doc.